everyone, this is Zeta Alpina here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So we are given a second order linear differential equation and we are going to solve this using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve 1 minus x square into y2 minus xy1 minus a square y equal to 0 given that y equal to a power sine a sine inverse x. Okay, e power a sine inverse x is an integral. So we are given a complementary function, part of complementary function of solution of the given equation. So here it is not necessary to find part of complementary function of the given equation using inspection method because we are already given complementary function that is part of complementary function of given equation okay and we are given a differential equation of order 2 having variable equations given differential equation One minus x square into y2 minus x into y1 minus a square y equal to 0. Or we can write it as 1 minus x square into d square y by dx square minus x into dy by dx minus a square y equal to 0. Now, we will write the second order differential equation in standard form. For that purpose, we have to make the quotient of d square y by dx square to unity. So, we will divide the whole equation with 1 minus x square or both sides of the equation. We will divide both sides of the equation with 1 minus x square. Then we will get d square y by dx square minus x by 1 minus x square into dy by dx minus a squared by 1 minus x into y equal to 0. Consider as equation 1, which is in standard form of second order linear equation. Say d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r. Okay? We are having r equal to 0 here. Now, Compare this equation 1 with the standard form. Compare 1 with d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to Then we'll get p equal to minus x by 1 minus x square q equal to minus a square by 1 minus x square. This x square, okay, not x, sorry. And r equal to 0, right? Here it is not necessary to find. The part of complementary function of 1. Therefore, y equal to e power a sine inverse x is an integral, which means complementary function of 1, where u of x equal to e power a sine inverse x. So we are having u equal to e power a sine inverse x, right? Now let's find du by dx, that is derivative of u with respect to x. So we'll differentiate both sides with respect to x. Okay, then du by dx equals to, we know that derivative of e power x is e power x. Now find 
in a derivative. That is derivative of a sin inverse x. Right? Then du by dx equal to e power a sin inverse x into here a is constant so we can write this as a into d by dx of sin inverse x this equals to e power a sin inverse x into a into derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square right this equals to a into or e power a sin inverse x into a by square root of 1 minus x square. Also, du by dx equal to e power a sin inverse x into a by square root of 1 minus x square. Okay. So, we know that d by dx of sin inverse of x equals to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square then integral 1 by square root of 1 minus x square dx is sin inverse x okay we'll use this formula later in this problem fine since we are having u equal to e power a sin inverse x, from this we got du by dx equal to e power a sin inverse x into a by square root of 1 minus x square. Okay. Let y equal to u v be the general solution of 1 then see already we have u but we need to find v right then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u consider it as equation number 2 now substitute p u du by dx r and u in this equation 2 from this we'll get capital v and from capital v we'll find small v and later we'll substitute in general solution we'll substitute u and v in the general solution i mean the general solution formula then d square v by dx square plus p we have in p minus x by 1 minus x square plus 2 by u u is e power a sin inverse x into du by dx we are having du by dx is e power a sin inverse x into a by square root of 1 minus x square into dv by dx equal to r by u r is 0 right and u is e power a sin inverse x then this becomes here e power a sin inverse x gets cancelled and we'll get d square v by dx square plus of minus x by 1 minus x square plus 2 into a 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dv by dx equal to 0 by some function of x is 0. Okay. Now let dv by dx equals to capital V then d square small v by dx square equal to d capital V by dx 
then the above equation becomes d capital V by dx plus minus x by 1 minus x square plus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into capital V equal to 0, right? Now, we can separate the variables. dv by dx equals to, we can write the above equation as dv by dx equals to minus of minus x by 1 minus x square plus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into v. Then we can write this as dv by v equal to, we'll bring this v to our LHS and we'll take this dx, differential dx to RHS. We'll get dv by v equal to, I'll take this minus inside the brackets, then I'll get minus into minus plus x by 1 minus x square minus into plus minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into differential dx, right? So here the variables are separable. Again, we can write it as 1 by v into dv equal to x by 1 minus x square into dx minus constant 2 into 1 by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Now let's perform integration. Integral 1 by capital V dv equal to integral x by 1 minus x square into dx minus 2a constant into integral 1 by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. If we take f of x as 1 minus x square, we'll get f of da, f dash of x equals to minus 2x, right? So here we can use integral f dash of x by f of x into dx formula, which is equal to log mod f of x, right? In order to use this formula, we need a minus 2 in the numerator. So what we'll do is, we'll just multiply and divide minus 2 to this integrand, okay? Minus 2y minus 2 for our convenience. Then this becomes, I'm not performing any kind of integration here. This equals to just leave this numerator minus 2 as it is and take this 1 by minus 2 outside the integral. We'll get minus 1 by 2 or better 1 by minus 2 into integral minus 2x by 1 minus x square into dx minus 2a into integral 1 by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. And also we know that integral 1 by square root of 1 minus x square dx is sine inverse x. Right? Now let's perform integration. We'll get log v equal to integral 1 by v dv is log v equal to minus 1 by 2 into integral so here you're having f dash of x by f of x. So we can write it as log 1 minus x squared using this formula. Minus 2a into sine inverse x plus integral constant say c2. So we have not used c1 right. So I'll take constant as c1. Already we are having two terms in log, so we can write this C1 as log C1. Now the above equation becomes log V equal to minus. We know that M log N can be written as log N for M. Then we can write 1 by 2 log 1 minus X square as log 1 minus X square for 1 by 2. Okay, minus 2A sine inverse X plus let's write this constant as log C1 which is also a constant. Then log v equal to minus log. We know that a for 1 by 2 equal to square root of a. Then we can write this as square root of 1 minus x square minus 2a sine inverse x plus log c1. 
Now take the terms involving log 2 LHS. Then the above equation becomes log b plus log square root of 1 minus x square minus log c1 equal to minus 2a sine inverse x. Right? Since we know that log a plus log b equal to log ab. Then we can write log b plus log square root of 1 minus x square as log b into square root of 1 minus x square minus log c1 equal to minus 2a sine inverse x. See this is of log a minus log b form. We know that log a minus log b can be written as log a by b. Now we can write log a minus log b as log a by b c1 equal to minus 2a sine inverse x. Now we can write this as b into square root of 1 minus x square by c1 equal to exponential power minus 2a sine inverse x. Since we know that if log a equal to b, then a equal to e power b. Right? Now, take square root of 1 minus x square by c1 to RHS. Or just write the above LHS part as v into square root of 1 minus x square by c1 equal to e power minus 2a sine inverse x. Now we can just take this part to RHS. We'll get v equal to e power minus 2a sine inverse x into c1 by square root of 1 minus x square. See, we got capital V. Now we'll find small v. Just replace capital V by d small v by dx. Then we'll get d small v by dx equal to c1 into e power minus 2a sine inverse x by square root of 1 minus x square. Alright, once again, we'll just replace capital V by d small v by dx, which is equals to constant into e power minus 2a sine inverse x by square root of 1 minus x square. Now, we'll separate the vapors. We'll just take the differential dx to RHS. Then we'll get dv equals to c1 e power minus 2a sine inverse x by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Now we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to c1 integral e power minus 2a sine inverse x by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Now let minus 2 a sine inverse x equal to some t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. d by dx of minus 2a sine inverse x equal to dt by dx, right? Then, minus 2a into d by dx of sine inverse x equal to dt by dx, right? From this, we'll get minus 2a into derivative of sine inverse x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. We'll get minus 2a into 1 by square root of 1 minus x square equal to dt by dx, right? So, from this, we'll get minus 2a or minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx equal to dt. Okay. In order to replace minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx by dt in our integrand, what we'll do is we'll just multiply and divide minus 2a 
to this integrand because we don't have any minus 2a, right? So, this equals to c1 into or integral dv equal to c1 into minus 2a by minus 2a into e power minus 2a sine inverse x by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Now, we will take this minus 2a and 1 by square root of minus x square into dx and we will replace it with dt in the next step. Okay, We can take 1 by minus 2a outside the integral. We can write this as integral dv equal to c1 integral 1 by minus 2a into e power minus 2a sine inverse x into minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Okay. So that in the next step, we can take minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Just we can replace minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx with dt. And replace minus 2a sine inverse x by t. And take this 1 by minus 2a outside the integral because it is a constant. Then we will get v equal to c1 into 1 by minus 2a into integral or just write integral dv okay we are not right we are not yet ready to apply integration okay so just replace minus 2a sine inverse x by t and minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx by dt we we'll get e power t into dt right since t equal to minus 2a sine inverse x and dt equal to minus 2a by square root of 1 minus x square into dx. Now the above equation becomes integral dv v equal to c1 into 1 by minus 2a can be written as minus 1 by 2a into integral e power t dt is e power t plus integral constant c2 right now just replace t by minus 2a sin inverse t since sorry sin inverse x since t equal to minus 2a sin inverse x so we'll replace this t by minus 2a sin inverse x then we'll get v equal to minus c1 by 2a into e power minus 2a sin inverse x plus c2 which is our required v. So we got v and already we have u. Let's now write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to u into v. Then y equal to u we are having e power a sine inverse x into v is minus c1 by 2a into e power minus 2a sine inverse x plus c2. Then y equal to minus c1 by 2a into e power minus 2a sine inverse x into e power a sine inverse x plus c2 e power a sine inverse x. Right? This equals to minus c1 by 2a into, see we are having e power minus 2a sine inverse x into e power a sine inverse x. Let's add the base. Sorry, let's add the powers. We'll get minus 2a sine inverse x plus a sine inverse x. Okay? Plus c2 e power a sine inverse x. Which is equals to? Minus c1 by 2a into e power minus 2a sine inverse x plus a sine inverse x is minus a sine inverse x. 
प्लस सी टू ए पावर ए साइन इनवर्स एक्स विच इज द रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन और वी कैन राइट इट एज माइनस ऑफ सी वन बाई टू ए दिस कम्प्लीट अ प्रॉब्लम So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.